Now that's a knife. Whoa, that's a knife. Wow. Let's go check this out. But this is incredible. This is wow. Just have a look at that. This is Sorry. But then when you don't find Yanis blood, the Gurkha would have to cut himself. Prince Harry has one of my knives. Oh, your knives! <laughs> that's amazing, bro. Have a look, man. Thank you. Guys. Just have a look. It's okay, brother. I don't. I don't wear jewelry. What do you want it? Just have a look. It's okay, bro. I'm Muslim. I don't wear jewelry. Yeah. Jakala. It's pretty cool. When I told him that I'm Muslim because I knew he was Muslim. He was wearing the the kameez. So when I told him I don't wear it, he's like, "All right, no arguments." Didn't try to didn't try and change my my idea. Look at that, really nice, really nice. Those are some really awesome colors, eh? Really awesome colors. Even the ones back there are so cool. Um, but obviously not my type, but I'm a dude. Now that's a knife, whoa, that's a knife. Wow, let's go check this out. I don't know if the dude's inside though. Oh yeah, he is. Can I say ho? Tickle. Wow. These are traditional Nepali knives? That's right. Carried by the army, carried by the locals, villages. We do everything with it. I've seen in the mountains last time I came to Nepal, uh, someone had it in the back, mm -hmm. uh, in like a leather case or something, and he had that the the Hindu symbol, you know, the one that's like that. Okay. Yeah. So this is I'm guessing like, well he he had almost the same thing. Yeah. I'm guessing this is the same. Must the same. It must be the same. Can I uh, feel sure. it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not buying because I'm just Understand. looking. But I would love to just let people know what the Nepali knives and cultures are sure. like. Because I saw a security lady, she had this yesterday. Yeah. And I tried to ask her about, but we couldn't understand each other. Mm. So I'm hoping maybe. You speak great English, so I'm hoping maybe okay, you're able I can to. Help you, little. You, can, you can have the knowledge. I, I'm sure you're making a blog so people can find out what it is as well. 100%. So, right over here, you have the modern section, you have the traditional section. So, I think it's better to try with the traditional section first. For sure, definitely. Exactly what the army guys are carrying, exactly what the village guys are carrying. So, many different sizes, many different shapes. But the function are pretty much the same. It's either used like a weapon or it's either used like a tool. Yeah. So it's just they're made in different places and made by different craftsmen. So they get slightly different. Okay. And the, the name is Gorka? No, no. The actual name is Kukuri. Kukuri. That's the name of the knife. Okay. The Gorka is the nickname for the uh, soldiers. Ah, yes. Okay. Soldiers. What does uh, Gorka mean? Well, the history starts. Uh, there's a small place called Gorkha in mid midwest uh, Nepal. Yes. And the king of the Gorkha unified all the smaller countries and make, made into a big, bigger Nepal. Kingdom. So his soldiers from that place were Gorkha soldiers. And, on, and slowly every, every forces from that place with them, them were called Gorkha soldiers. Right, okay. Mm. All because of this save, right. saved Nepal from being invaded by the British. That's amazing. Yeah. And then the Gurkha did so well that the British hired the Gurkha. That's right. That's incredible. Sure. That's amazing. Wow. So this is like a, a wooden handle. Yeah, there's wooden handle or it's either a horn handle. These are your traditional materials. Horn from like a rhino? Buffalo. Buffalo, okay. Rhino would be very endangered. Yeah. Totally illegal. Yes, 100%. And very hard as well. Oh, yeah. 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 But this is incredible. This is wow. Just have a look yeah. at that. This is it's a hacking weapon, so it's a close combat knife. Close combat? Yes, you have the weight on it, so the weight of the knife and the sharpness of the blade will do the purpose. The weight of the knife and the sharpness of the blade will do the purpose. Right. Yeah. Okay. And um, so this is definitely close combat. Mm -hmm. And do people keep it in the front? Yeah, yeah keep it in the back. Left side. Carry, you carry you it on your left side. Right, and you do your thing. Okay, yeah, it's carrying yeah. your left side, so you can use your right hand mm -hmm. to pull it out. And but then, if you're left handed, you have to get used to it or get a different case made. Ah, yes, correct, yeah. Many different types, modern types. 
So this is the army version. Mm -hmm. This is a traditional village version. Yeah, from different places in Nepal, different styles, different ways, different shapes. Different regions have their own different yeah. different yeah. regions have different village. A different craftsman from that area will have his own kind. So you know, it's totally um, personal thing as well. That's right. Yeah, and these are the more modern. These are even modernized. Okay, they design different handle, modified blades, modified shapes. All right. So, I like this very nice one. Some of them are for decorative purposes, yeah. people keep on their houses. Yeah, because these are not just a weapon, it's also a good thing to have inside your house. You hang it somewhere hang nice. On the wall, and you put it in the wall, you put it in the wall, you put it in the wall. So, someone made it with display models as well. This is honestly so amazing. And you can see up here as well suppliers of president uh, presentation to the Kukui yeah, to the Prince Harry. Prince Harry has one of my knives. Oh, your knives? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's amazing, bro. Yeah. One of the knives from this store right here is <laughs> given to the royal, royal family over in Britain. Mm -hmm. That is honestly, congratulations, man. That is honestly amazing. Holy cow. And this is. This is what I had uh, war rich Those three rich people are the VC winners, the highest British Army medals. So they were here in my store many years ago. Right, okay. That's me at the back. That's you in the back. And that's my father with the glasses. He was, he was an Gorkha Army himself. Right. And three of them the VC winners. Oh my god. Wow, man. This, I'm so happy I stopped here, honestly. Yeah. I, I was yeah. walking past. Mm -hmm. And because uh, I was looking for a little knife, pocket knife for um, my trek, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just saw this big knife here, you know. That's my yes. Uh, so sharp. <laughs> That's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, I need to stop in here, but I, I, I didn't know if it was open. The door was open, but the lights. And I was like, oh, I don't know if anyone's inside. So I was just like, have a quick look. And then I'm so happy you're here, man. But this is, this is honestly, guys. If you're ever in Nepal, uh, well drop this location um i'll describe it it's right next to where the hostel i'm staying in come and visit guys you know the shop come, is the oldest the shop is the oldest in nepal and it's definitely prestigious you know look at that look at that man look at that like so if you're ever looking for decorative um cook cookery cookery mm -hmm. knife guys come here sir what is the shop's name cookery house cookery house easy to remember you cannot forget that cookery house um one last question my friend so that very big one yeah right here yeah that huge one what is the function of one that this size is to be, this is too long to be used and too heavy to be used so this I is just more ceremonial and not yes something to have at my store so people like you stop by <laughs> yeah very smart good marketing right there yeah so this is much heavier so this is definitely for like yeah chopping up wood and everything. Yeah. And it just it slides in everything to glue. Yes. Something like that. Yeah, that is right. But then the best way to pull up the blade is always holding it this way, never putting your hand this way. Okay. Because there's only leather here. So when you do it the wrong way, the blade can slice the leather and you can even cut yourself. So it's always hold this way. Oh yes, this is definitely much stronger in this area. It seems like it's being reinforced by wood, eh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and, and then your fingers are away from the razor sharpener blade, so that's you right. cut yourself. So you hold it like that. Yeah. And it comes out so nice because it's like curved a bit. And it's, mm -hmm. it's amazing because you don't think about it. It's like, how is this coming out? This seems straight and this is curved, but mm -hmm. you know, it comes out really nice. And then, yeah, you just use it for whatever purpose you need yeah this, this is, is incredible yeah uh... every gurkha knife will come with two small backup knives okay yes. this is your proper set you always have them one is always blunt on both sides so this is blunt and blunt so just in case you don't have a sharpening steel when you're out in the jungle now this becomes your sharpener and then you sharpen it this way rubbing the edges you can still have it sharpened, but it takes long hours because this is just a backup blade. Right, yeah. So this was blunt on both sides. Now the other one will be sharp. So this is your second blade. When you need a small blade to cut small things, you carry your small blade. And for the real action, you always have the larger blade. The larger one. Right. And you know what this is for? Uh, no. 
This is a weapon in Nepal, so it makes sure the blood will be flowing on the edges. So when you're holding, holding it this way, and it comes to this point, it trips down. It trips down instead of going down the handle. Yes, you don't have slippery fingers. That is incredible. Guys, <laughs> I'm shocked right now, I'm lost for words. This is amazing. Um, Around three or four grenades thrown in, into his trench. He threw back two or three back to the Japanese, but yeah. the last one exploded in his hand. Oh yeah. And even though with his, even though when he, he didn't have a, his left or right arm, he was blown away. So even with the other hand, he kept on fighting. Wow. <laughs> That's. That's this man here. Gentleman here. Yeah, the very old face man. Yes. Second to the left. Yes, close to my father. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This gentleman right That's right. Here. Yes. He doesn't have one arm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can see the shirts is just hanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, can, <laughs> yes. you can see it. So it's the right, the right arm. Right? Yeah, that's amazing. That's that's yourself in that corner as well. Oh, corner. That was in 1997. 1997. It's really nice that you're in that photo. To be honest, was that planned or you were just sitting there? Well, the, this was planned actually. My father, because he himself was a Gurkha, so when he heard these guys were in town, yeah. yeah. And uh, 1997, that was a long time ago, and there were no other cookery shops. So he just had to call those people inside the Chinese shop, you know, just let them know about the street they've done, mm -hmm. and to look at the knives that they had with them. So it was an invitation, so they followed, they followed it. But you being in that photo, were you just waiting for the photo, or did they, you didn't know you were in that photo until after, did you? I think yes, I didn't know that. I'm, although it was taken, I thought... Uh, you didn't know you were going to Yeah, I'm, I'm, I was guessing I, I was blocked, but then... It turned out, right? So it turned out, right, yes. Yeah. It turned out great, because you're just chill. Yeah, you're very chill in that photo. You're just like, you know, poison, you know, you're not trying to... Great, you have it on your back. When you go out in the field, you keep it on the left side, so it's easy to pull out. So a Gurkha is never complete without his knife and never complete without his hat. Without his knife and without his hat. Yeah. Yep. So when you don't have one of them, you'll be missing something. It had to taste blood. When the knife is pulled out, it has to taste blood. So to taste when you pulled out, it's either used like a weapon, so you have to have the enemy's blood. And, but then when you don't find the enemy's blood, the Gurkha would have to cut himself and put some blood and then only put it back inside the case. So every time you take it out, almost, that always at the, the first days. time. Yes, always at the first time. First time you take it out. It's not carried in now now, is it? Yeah. So yeah. that's like an yeah. old tradition. Yes. They're very manly as well. It's yeah. like it's yeah. really mm -hmm. yeah, it is very old school. That's a oh yeah. brother, thank you, you so you much can man. Use it, yes. <clears throat> I've been <laughs> last night I was just walking around like this almost. This is too small, but then you will be okay. It's better than nothing. Yeah, I think at least I can see yeah. it, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Tandivat, thank you so much, my friend. Apke naam kya? Sanjay. Sanjay. Yes. Mera naam Abdi Explorer. Abdi Explorer. Yeah. Is you originally from India? No, Somalia. Somalia. Yeah, yeah. Okay. From Somalia. I see. And I'm just traveling South Asia oh, at the I moment, see. you know. Guys, what an incredible store! It's called a Genuine Gurkha Knives or Gurkri House since 1991. This is the entrance. It's if you come off that street over there which is right next to this Korean uh, or this hotel with a Korean shop at the top look I'm gonna drop the location on my phone I've got the hostel that I'm staying in just in this path right here so you guys will know where it is so this is like sort of like the, what the Gurkha soldiers would be wearing and when they have their knife out and this is the, the case that would, they would have out as well and like he was telling me before, you got the two knives in there as well. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, guys, heading back to my accommodation. I really need to, really need to sort out my booking. And uh, I'm not really hungry because I've already had something to eat, but I've got to sort out my booking, go up there, and then sort out the clothes. So guys, come along. We'll see how we go.